My name is Shadrach Chirikure and I am an African archaeologist who is based at the University of Cape Town in South Africa. My general interest is basically in understanding the past of uh, many peoples in Africa using archaeology as one of the uh, methods to achieve that. So one of the areas that lie at the core of my research is trying to understand uh, the technologies um, that sustained uh, African communities of uh, different time periods. I work on uh, technologies such as uh, metalworking, uh, particularly iron production, iron smelting, iron smithing. Uh, what was the technology of the process? Uh, what did they produce? And uh, who did the, the people uh, trade with? I also work on metals such as gold. So gold is actually very important because in addition to be valuable to the communities within Africa themselves, they also had so much that they had to trade and uh, exchange with communities uh, in different continents, the Middle East, um, India, as well as, uh, as well as China. So, but then I focus on specific uh, places, uh, Mapungubwe in South Africa, Great Zimbabwe in Zimbabwe, and um, many other places. My particular research uh, follows uh, different, uh, different strands. So at the moment, I am excavating a Great Zimbabwe World Heritage uh, Site in Zimbabwe. I am exploring the relations between uh, the elites and the commoners at the site. Since archaeological research started at Great Zimbabwe, emphasis was always on the rulers or on the elites, the people that lived inside the uh, dry stone walls. So a question that emerges is that uh, for them to be rulers, obviously they had to have uh, the ruled. So where are the commoners? So this is the question that I am uh, currently working on. And this involves um, excavating um, areas of Great Zimbabwe that lie outside the walls, finding uh, some objects and materials that uh, were used and then comparing uh, them with uh, what uh, came out uh, of the uh, world areas. So that is also uh, changing the way in which uh, people used to understand uh, commoner and uh, elite relations. For example, the areas associated with the commoners are also uh, yielding gold uh, objects. And then um, in archaeology, we tend to assume that if you find uh, gold, then you are talking of the elites. So who were these people? Were these uh, commoner elites, elite commoners? What are we talking about? Those are some of the questions that I'm looking at uh, at the moment. Great. The Association of um, Commonwealth uh, University Fellowships is uh, a very um, interesting as well as a competitive uh, fellowship. So um, they normally um, open up a call for applications and then um, with the support of uh, one's uh, home department uh, and uh, a host um, at uh, a department in Oxford, uh, you put together an application and uh, then there is an adjudicating uh, committee if the lack of the draw picks your name from a from an envelope i hope <laughs> then um, you are awarded uh, the the fellowship so because of that process i am now uh, here and the fellowship is uh, allowing me to uh, do my own research uh, at the research laboratory as well as to network and interact with uh, colleagues in uh, different departments at uh, oxford My next steps uh, after the uh, fellowship is um, over, uh, perhaps we are a little bit um, uh, over ambitious, shall I say. 
One of the things that uh, the fellowship allowed me to do was to build uh, a very good uh, network and uh, to also put uh, plans uh, in place for collaboration. So collaborations with uh, colleagues such as uh, Mark Pollard, Chris Gosden, um, Amy Bogart and, and, and others. So one of the next thing is to ensure that the ideas that we were discussing are uh, crystallized into, into action. Um, other than that, one is also going back to the routine. That is a uh, normal teaching, write up, research and uh, the uh, goodies that come with that. Oxford um, has been Oxford. Um, the weather hasn't uh, surely disappointed. Uh, a lot of rain and so on, but uh, it is a very amazing intellectual environment because um, I've had so many uh, fruitful discussions that have uh, uh, sharpened my own thinking. I have uh, had uh, discussions with uh, so many colleagues who are working in different parts of the world and we have also uh, firmed up plans for collaboration. I've also listened to seminars by students, uh, seminars by faculty, as well as, uh, in addition, giving um, seminars my, uh, myself. And also the other thing that uh, I also liked about uh, Oxford is that uh, because uh, people who work on Africa are spread across different departments and uh, colleges, it also meant that uh, for lunch and dinner I've had to probably go to almost every college. <laughs> the most uh, funny or maybe surprising thing about uh, Oxford is that uh, I never imagined that uh, people can wear gowns to have dinner. 